Okay, now I just want to show you a quick wet and wet technique. And I'm going to use the two colors I already have on my plate. So over here, I am going to spritz that red a little bit because it's dry, so I want to wake it up. This is the sponge that came in your paint tin, and I just dip that in water. I'm not squeezing it or anything. I just am dipping it in clean water here, just like that. And then I'm gonna take my pad here, and I'm just going to wet my the surface of my paper. And then I've got my round brush here. I'm gonna dip it in the water, get it wet. Uh, I think I'm gonna start with the red. Let's drop some of this red in first. And so my paper's wet and my, look at that, and my, of course my paint is wet. And this is a wet in wet technique, meaning our paper's wet, our paint is wet, of course. You can draw lines, you can do little loopies. You could do some back and forth practice here like we did before. And notice how the paint, just watch it and learn from it how it, how it plays. Take some darker color and drop, drop in there. Maybe over here, drop some darker in. You can just keep playing with it. Go back over it if you like. Okay, now I'm going to, I think I'm going to clean my brush and I wanna pick up some of that purple that we worked with earlier. Okay, so I've loaded my brush with the purple and you can still see that my paper's still wet because it's got that glisten on it. So I'm still doing wet on wet and just drop that in there and watch it play. Now, if you want to, add some water to it. I just added some water on my brush, a little ball of water. So I'm gonna drop this in here to see what it does. I'm going to zoom back out for a moment. So I have quite a bit of water on my brush. Well, we'll see how much. Did you see that? I just went right across my finger and splatted it. How fun is that, right? And something else we can do, take your spray bottle and just give it a little spritz. And you can see how the water reacts to that. You can pick your paper up and you can move it. See it starting to move? So we've got it moving here. You can create lines. You can just do all kinds of fun stuff. It's just fun to just play, practice, create. Okay, let me clean this brush off a minute. I'm gonna go down here and I'm going to do maybe a, or maybe just a funky looking little square there. Let's do some funky squares and I'm actually putting down a little more water this time because I kind of want that excess water to pool up on the side. So I think you can see that. So I've got my excess water here. I just did three little notches and I'm going to dip into my color. This is my purple. I'm just gonna add it in here. Maybe along over here where I've got it really, really wet. And then I think I'm gonna go back up here to my paint and I'm gonna pick up some blue. Let's drop that blue in there. You know what, while we're working, let's drop some of that blue over here. And let's drop a little bit of it in here. I'm gonna pick up some of this green. Let's drop that in. I'm gonna drop some of it in here. Okay, and then I'm just going to move this and let the water do the work. See it moving on that blue, especially you can see it. Now, if you're not getting, whoops, there goes the purple. See how it goes only where the water is? It won't go out that, of that line unless you do something to make it go out of that line. And it's really, 
my green's not as coming to life. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to go Oh, it's starting to move down. There we go. That's what I wanted to happen. Now, if you can't get it to do that, take your brush and help it along. I add a little bit of water there to it. Take it along. Help it. Take it and help it along. We can help it along here if we want to. Look at all this yumminess right in there. And again, it's staying only where there's water. Isn't that beautiful, just watching it? So when you have three, these three colors are all from the Cool family, and they just are harmonious together. I can now clean my brush off. I've got it in some water, and I'm just going to do some of these little flicks on there not really reacting too much. Okay, what if I just take my brush and it's got water loaded on it? What if I just go like that? It's going to start a little cauliflower. Might be easier to see in some of these down here, but it makes that paint go away. Isn't that beautiful? You can just let it dry just like that. Uh, I think we will. I think we'll let it dry. So that is when you, how you work wet on wet. Really easy, really fun. Play with it and see what happens.